tropical cyclone Mahasan jogged northward Thursday prior to striking the coast of Bangladesh, averting the widespread disaster that government authorities had prepared for. Still, at least 12 people were killed, thousands of thatched houses were damaged and trees uprooted, the state news agency said. The situation is turning normal and the people have started returning home after some 200,000 people took overnight refuge at cyclone shelters at Barisal Division, Divisional Commissioner of Barisal Mohammed Nurul Amin told Bangladesh Sangbad Sangster. The damage was not that much what we feared, and people who took shelters have already started moving to their houses as the weather is becoming almost normal he said. Bangladeshi authorities had relocated hundreds of thousands of people in vulnerable areas to safer ground ahead of the storm's arrival. The storm's strongest gusts reached 90 kph, 56 miles per hour, weaker than a hurricane, BSS said. Authorities had suspended port activities at Chittagong, a major transport and commercial hub and cancelled all flights to and from the city's airport. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCA, had warned that Mahasan could put millions of people in the surrounding region at risk. On Wednesday, aid agencies and local authorities scrambled to prepare residents and to put emergency supplies in position. Bangladeshi authorities relocated at least half a million people from the coastal districts of southeastern Bangladesh, the top administrative officer of Chittagong Division said. Authorities prepared thousands of buildings as cyclone shelters. The ECHA put the number of people ordered to relocate by the Bangladeshi government at one million nationwide. There was reason for the caution, in 1970. Cyclone Bola killed some 400,000 people, according to the ICA. Cyclones had killed nearly 4,000 people in 2007, and Cyclone Naila killed about 200 people in 2009. A vulnerable group in Myanmar relocation efforts have also proved challenging in Myanmar's western state of Rakhine, which borders Bangladesh. On Rakhine's coast, Myanmar authorities and relief agencies worked to relocate tens of thousands of Muslims who had been living in makeshift camps in low-lying areas since last year, when their homes were destroyed in sectarian violence. Most of them are Rohingya, a stateless Muslim minority who suffered during decades of military rule in Myanmar. Sectarian violence erupted last year in Rakhine between Buddhists and Muslims, resulting in the deaths of scores of people, most of them Rohingya. Since then, more than 100,000 Muslims have been forced to live in camps, 